That's a magic hook. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Did you see that? Today I'm going to show you how to use a magic hook when you've got a log that is not positioned on the deck close enough to the starting point of the mill head. It's hanging out the other end. It's too far out and you've got to move it down the deck. Now, in the past you might have seen me wrap a chain and hook it up to my side supports and use that to pull it down. And I have to tell you, I've known about the quote unquote magic hook for a very long time. I've been a member of the forestry forum for over a dozen years. And I've always known about using one this way. And, and I think the name magic hook comes from Magic Man on Forestry Forum. So hat tip to Magic Man. But all it is really is a cant hook or PV hook that you've that you've taken off of an old cant hook or something, or like me, ordered it direct from PV and you've hooked it up to a chain some fashion or another so that you can spear it into the end of the log and then wrap the chain around the side supports and drag the log down the deck. And you're gonna see me do that here because after we cut this end off the log that had a bunch of nails in it, and you also noticed probably I was using my little orange wand. Actually, I give it to the customers to use. But right here, I'm walking down to the end of the log, boom, spear that into the end of the log. Sometimes you gotta hit it a couple times then wrap the chain around the side supports and watch what happens. Now I do have my tow board rollers up. So watch this, look at that, down she comes. Now I will tell you, I'm always kind of overly cautious and you could lower your side supports a little more than I do to get more of a throw when you draw that log back. But I just hate the idea of kicking a log that size off the operator side of the mill. There he goes again, see that? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll lower them down over halfway, but not too far down because I just don't want that log to go somewhere. Well, frankly, you don't want it to go. <laughs> so I, I hook it up, drag it down, check to see if I've dragged it far enough. If not, hook it up again and drag it down right there. Look at that, isn't that great? So if you don't have an old PV hook or can't hook, laying around that you can use. I actually got mine off of PV. Uh, I'll drop a link down in the description below so you can see that. And you know, it's just, it's an awesome way to be able to drag a log down the deck instead of trying to push it. You know, for years, I would just push the log down the deck on the rollers and, and frankly, that's just too hard. You've got hydraulics, right? So work smarter, not harder. So there you go, folks the magic hook again hat tip magic man for that one i put off using it for so long because for one reason or another i just hadn't ordered one that's why i'm going to drop a link down below for you so that you can order yours if you don't have one maybe you got an old can hook laying around you can use it but i'm telling you once you start using a magic hook you're just never going to go back so <laughs> let's get this log milled up it's a big pondo pine and we're milling it into one by fours Customers going to use those for trim around their barn dominium that they're building. <laughs> Great customers, Kirk and his wife out north of me, about 150 miles north of me, up near the, the Columbia River's uh, Lake Roosevelt. So I'm going to get this log milled up and let's let it roll. And I'll come back to you here in a couple minutes.
We're getting it down there now. Now, now that I've built my cant, all I'm doing now is I'm going to split this cant three ways so that I've got three four by beams and we'll flip those up so they're vertical and I'll start knocking down three one bys at a time. Now, one thing I will tell you is that pulling off three boards at once off of the mill when you're milling them can be a challenge sometimes for the off bears. And so what you'll see me do here in a few seconds is kick off one of those four by cants onto the forks. I'll mill it down later and use it to put my flitches up against. But before that, I'm gonna mill these down a little ways. And, and honestly, it just got to be a bit tough for the customer to try and quickly off bear. And always the mission for me is to keep production up so if it looks like pulling three off at once is a little bit too challenging, I'll kick a cant off and run two at once. It's faster for the off bear, so it really isn't faster for me in terms of what I can mill. You can see right there, I'm, I'm milling three at a time. But if the off bears are, are having a, a little bit of trouble pulling multiple boards off at once, even though I can mill deeper down into the deck, the reality is at some point, I got to stop and let them pull that off. And so if it's a little too much, kick that cant off, let them pull two at a time, pull that cant back up, mill it down and mill the flitches down and it works pretty well. So. Also, um, you know, <laughs> I love to show missing the pith, not hitting the pith. I love to show boxing in the pith. So. Let's see if I can show it right here. Oh, we're right above it. So we're, we're look at that. And it is obviously going to be in the middle of the next board that comes off the mill. <laughs> Unfortunately, this old jarhead moved his camera <laughs> to show you a couple other shots. And so I forgot to leave it down long enough to show that. But I think you saw in the this shot earlier. I was only about half an inch off and I'm milling one inch boards and so I captured it right in the center. All right, we're just getting the last little bit done here and then this one will be over. So the big deal for you here, this is actually a, a, a fast forward into a job that I just recently did because I really wanted to show you that magic hook. If you haven't seen it before, then hey, give me a thumbs up, put your comments down below, let me know what you think, I really appreciate it. And you know, if it helps you out, share this video around. Let other people know about it. Thanks for watching, more to come. Y'all have a great weekend and a happy Halloween. The old Jarhead out.